transition from being hatred to Mrs. Rhodes Wilson was I've always been the person that got what she wanted because I always did well. I performed on high level as a musician, as an athlete, as a, a scholar, right? Never got in trouble. You knew if it was a mess, I wasn't involved with it. So you just supposed to do it for me. That's just right. It's everybody my else been just doing it for me. Yeah. And then I was like, no, you just don't get it. Just don't get it like that. Like, because when I was an athlete, when I was a, you know, top of the game in music and dancing and, and, and Scott, that's what I had to do because that was, I was a child. That's what my mother expected of me. As a wife and a mom, you, you got to do it without reward. So my thing is, okay, well, I cooked, I cleaned, I did all this. Like, what's for me? Me, 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 me. Yeah. Even though I have kids, it still was like that for me. I, in in, in that sense, I mean, I don't have kids yet, but in that sense, it's almost been the opposite for me because I was just so used to doing for everybody else Yeah. that it was difficult to accept recognition and love from Justin. Like, if it wasn't an accolade related to my career or my education, then it was difficult for me to accept anything from him. Okay. Whereas Justin, I can utter that I might want something, and he he going to get it. You said And that is so hard for me, because I'd be like, wait, you really didn't have to spend that money. Like, like I, I said, I, for example, I, last week, I said, man, my Apple Watch has been dying quicker. I wonder what's going on, what's going on with it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what's going on with it. I'm going to have to go to the Apple store whenever I feel safe. And a few days later, it was the, the Apple Watch 5. I had the three. The Apple Watch 5 was just on my vanity. And that is just our first argument ever. <laughs> our first argument ever was because I he called and I was like, oh, my gosh, I lost $50. Like, I could not find it. I don't know what I did with it. Mm. And I was like wrapping up grad school at the time, working part time. Like I was fifty dollars was like a she, lot. Yeah. And like the next day I woke up and checked my account and somebody had deposited a hundred dollars into my account. And I was so upset because who just thought I needed money? So of course I called this man. And he was like, yeah, I just, you know, I put some money in your account. I went off. Why? Because don't assume that I need nothing from you. But you were just saying $50 is tight for you. So. But don't assume that I need it from you because I've been figuring it out. All but that's when he's supposed to be there. To that was his argument. And now I get it a little bit. I can understand his side a little bit. But at the time. It made me so mad. Like, it made me so mad. <laughs> it made me so upset. Like, I mean, I think, I think I'm getting better. Like, I didn't, I didn't get mad at, at the Apple Watch. So that was an accomplishment. So you get mad when you talk about I'm, the things that you need and then he provides? Like well, a man is supposed to provide, I especially didn't, I for that, his I, wife. But girl. I didn't have a new Apple Watch. We didn't got it. Like now, when he when I thought he had bought a Louis bag for me, it was a big argument. That's different. Louis bag is a couple thousand. It's a thousand dollar bag, so that's different. And he he felt like, well, I just got this uh, promotion and this bonus and. I want to spend it on my wife and uh, but um, I agree. Uh, women like Louis Bag. I I agree with him though. I, 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 I I'm sorry. I, I agree with not. him. I'm get I'm getting better past it. 
hatred. Like, I'm getting better, but that, just like you said, with Louis Vuitton, costs a couple thousand dollars. They do, but he's saying, God, you gave me a job, good job, with the promotion, with the bonus. And you gave me an amazing wife. I want to share this with her. That's what I, he was saying. But it was just really hard for me to let that sink into my, like. When y'all so. have kids, I feel, listen, you're going to have to get that together. When y'all have kids, no matter boy or girl, daddy is definitely supposed to surprise and come through with the love for both of y'all. Yeah, but I wouldn't. The kids, I said for yes. both of y'all because oh, okay. you, you help him give life, right? Yeah. I'm working on it. I okay. really am. I'm I'm working on it. I've I've gotten even if it's a little bit better, I've gotten better. No, small wins is a big win. That's that's that's, that's your life. Thank that's your you. life. That's your life. True. Okay, so the next question is what is your favorite thing about being married? It's gonna sound corny, but my favorite thing about being married is like we be in here having fun. Like so... it's like a real life slumber party with my best friend most of the time. Like we we just have we we even say like sometimes he get on my nerves and I can't stand him. Like in real life can't stand him. You still got to just go in the other room and I go in this room because I still don't want to be in this house or in this life without you. Period. At the end of the day. Period. Um, so that's just he just we we say all the time like we still have fun together even even if we irritated with each other one thing cut us off and just make us start laughing. Oh if my God. Other, that's each how other. we is. <laughs> we is. I know we could be in, in in the midst of the heated of all yes. these, We call them heated fellowships. That's what yes. we don't say. We, say, we, call it, we call it heated fellowship. And I'm talking about, I call myself packing bags, right? I'm getting my kid. But we're literally laughing. Like, he like, why you laughing? I'm like, why you laughing? But I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be upset. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be quote unquote packing these bags, girl. It ain't, ain't going nowhere. It just feel good sometimes just to pack a bag and girl to go into my office. That's it. That's all I do right. with that bag. That's all you. That's all you gonna get. You can go down that hallway, sir. That's all I got for you. Cause if you pack a bag and think you leaving, I'm getting in one of them. Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm going with. You. I'm going with you. Period. Period. That's it. Period. That's, oh my gosh, that's it. Okay. Okay. Now, I know you talked about um, you like Melissa, which is Mrs. Kev on stage. I love her too. I think that um, I love her perspective on things. Yeah, me um, too. And she's not afraid to say some things that a lot of, especially black married folks, because we already have this stigma that black people don't get married, black people divorce right. real quick. It's not a long lasting, healthy marriage. The list goes on. So there was a recording I, I saw of her and Kev on stage, and she talked. They talked about how divorce was an option. Yeah, because you know mm -hmm. a lot of people say uh, divorce is not an option. We don't talk about that. Like, like you say, if you mad, go up the go up two bedrooms, you'd be all right. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Do you, being that we both fans of Kevin, Mrs. Kev on stage, do you agree or disagree with her saying divorce is an option? I one hundred percent agree. Oh, and hundred percent agree. Wow, and so her, that is surprising to me. I'm sure. I'm sure. And that so is definitely people, surprising me from you. Getting that for from most me. people who know me, that would be a surprise for, for me, right? So, because I, it's, at the end of the day, everybody know that, like, I'm like, look, I'm in it to win it. Like, right. it's a me for it. Like, it's us, like, being 100 years old and rocking chairs, watching our kids and great kids, grandkids, great grandkids run around now, y'all. Like, that's winning it to me. The reason how she broke it down is just beautiful and it's why i agree with her yeah she said that divorce is an option so with you knowing that divorce is an option know that i'm choosing to get up in this house with you every day yeah. know that that is an option but i'm choosing to be committed to you yeah. and to stay married to you and to not divorce you and to not leave you and to not pack a bag and to keep pushing myself to have fun with you and laugh with you be intimate with you, have date nights, 
build, continue to build a life with you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm choosing that even though divorce is indeed an option. And it's an option for him. So I know that every day he's choosing me. Yeah, it's, it's not that he has to because divorce isn't an option because we're Christians and we're not supposed to get divorced. I would prefer you to choose me in spite of that being an option than you feel like you can't divorce me because it's sinful. Yeah. No, choose me. On purpose. Yeah. On purpose. That's. You a smart girl. <laughs> you a smart girl. You a smart girl. You um, are too. First, I want to shout out the ESML, ESMR, which is our other YouTube family. This is my husband's best friend from college. Him and his wife live in Arizona. They are the Revengers, and they just celebrated 10,000 subscribers on YouTube in literally exactly one year from the day that they started. So, shout out to them. I love my merch, and I just have to show them some love. Um, their information will be in the description. Now, as this is my last question, as a wife, specifically a black wife, and I am making a big deal about the black part because you ain't never been nobody else yeah. type of wife but that, what would you give, what advice, it could be one thing, it could be two or three things, whatever, to a soon-to-be wife or, a, or someone that has just, a, you know, black female that's just gotten married? What advice would you give her? Oh, that is a good one. Um, keep your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your best, 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 best friend out of your marriage. Keep them out of your marriage. If you, a lot of times when we find that people have issues with their in laws or their spouse has issues with their family, it's because we've run off at the mouth too much. And just like we just talked about, more than likely you're going to choose your your husband. Like you're you're, you're going to choose. choose to yeah. You're going to choose to forgive him. But the person who birthed you, or who raised you, or who been knowing you since before you could talk and then change your diapers, it's going to be a lot harder for them to forgive. Now, the caveat to that is you have to know how, when, and who Come on to now. seek godly counsel from. That's, that's the very true. Time I'm in, keep people out of your business. You have to know when to have honest conversations with people about what's going on so that you can get guided in the right direction. Um, that is very, very true. Um, when it comes to the community of, first of all, the marriage bed, it ain't number but this uh, big anyway, right? Exactly. And then for, to then take that little piece, right? To then then say, in that, I got to make sure I don't got no yes, no yes woman or no yes man. Meaning yeah. that if I come to you, right, or whoever that person is, and I say, hey, this is going on, that person is not going to be like, uh-uh, you need to leave him. That person right. going to be like, sis, you wrong. And right? you should know that. Get yourself together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, that's a good man. Or they're going to be like, sis, situation is bad. He definitely wrong. But you got to make a choice of what's the, you know, what's necessary, what's the most important things, whatever the case may be. I do believe because I, I've, I hear a lot of people say, you know, don't have nobody in your business. Don't tell nobody your business. I agree to that to an extent. So I'm about 65 percent in agreeance to that. But people keep things so secretive where other folks cannot learn from those things or you don't even know that somebody else is dealing with the same situation that could teach you a little something. But I know you have to be specific about who you choose to converse with about the shortcomings. Or it's just unhealthy for you. Like at some point, some things you, you need to let out and vent about for your own mental health. Yeah. You, you got to let that stuff go now. And sometimes it, it may not be necessary to seek like professional help. Or sometimes you may not be at that point of comfort yet. So having somebody, like for me, I feel like I'm a little bit different because my mama going to always be, you staying with your husband. You come here and visit. So my mama is the exact 
same. Yeah, you're gonna way. you're you're gonna, gonna work gonna it out. Like, I mean, I mean, you mad right now? She was like, I can come get the kids, right? <laughs> so y'all can work it out. But my mama is definitely like, get it together, y'all will be mm -hmm. okay. Work it out. Y'all be okay. if. I'm wrong, he right, or he wrong, I'm right, or sometimes the situations, both of y'all are wrong. Both of y'all are right. My mama actually told me when I got engaged, she was like, you know that, like, you know your husband has to come before me, right? Mm. And I was like, but you my mama. And she was like, that's about to be your husband. So start practicing now. Like you, I, my I, mama I don't is so first. like Team Christopher, meaning I'd be like, "Girl, you so far, you jocking now? Back up." She was like, "No," she said. She said, "If you that's her what son. that and so that's what she said. She said, "You know," she said, "Your husband is the epitome of a black man." She said, "Any other mother would love to have to know that their daughter is in good hands. They got a good protector, good provider." You know, she went on this. She was like, "So this ain't this ain't no." And she she did quotes jockeying and then she was like I don't even know what that means um but she was like she was like it's more that we don't praise our black men enough we don't give them the accolades they deserve when they doing a great job because we all yeah this is what you're supposed to do well a lot of people don't get what they're supposed to do yeah he's you know and so I love that your mom's like baby girl and she's never been married and my mom been married four times so she in her mind she like. I couldn't get it, you know. I can't. I couldn't get it right, you know, here and there. But you, you, you definitely going to get. Let it me right. impart this wisdom on you, yeah. And you're going to impart that wisdom on your daughters because your daughters and your son are going to, you know, reciprocate the same amazing wisdom down. And so, I love that your mom is like Team Justin. No, Team Young. <laughs> she is Team Young. Basically, Team Justin. Though you were right. But she is team young, team stay married, team take a nap and wake up and do better. That's that's who she is. I uh, I appreciate that with your mom though. That makes me it makes me happy um, because I definitely know that there are some. There's definitely yes man, yes woman when it comes to you know you're struggling in your marriage, your relationship, and. I just wanted to, like, something I've always said, which eventually I'm going to have the guts to talk about. I just ain't got there yet, which is, um, like, sex in marriage. Not sex outside of marriage. But yeah. black people do not talk about sex in marriage. Now, you'll talk about how you had that one night stand after the club set last night. But not. Uh, and how baby girl flipped it up, smacked it, and rubbed it down. Right. But you won't talk about, and I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not saying detail for detail. But you won't, we don't, as black folk, don't talk about healthy marriage. I mean, healthy sex life, healthy intimacy. But then we tell our kids, wait to marriage. Yeah. Don't have sex before marriage. Don't so do it. What are we telling them to wait for though? Mm -hmm. Just because you're married. Right. And so I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna get the gut. right now. I got the guts to talk about it, but God gonna work that out for me. He is. Um, um, but that's definitely the, those are these are the type of conversations I've had. So many people be so scared to talk, and it's more men than women because they like don't let nobody in our business. We don't want uh -huh. you know we don't want nobody in our business. But how do people learn unless we don't have conversation? Right. Some wife is going to watch this video or several wives are going to watch this video and they're going to be able to learn something from it. Yeah. It could and be, that's the point. The, and that's the point. That's definitely the point. I know for me, I didn't have a whole bunch. I, I can tell maybe one and it was a, a semi-positive uh, uh, of a black woman that was married. She was the first lady of the church that I went to. But that's it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, That's me it. too. So, we need to have more positive reinforcement when it comes to happy black wives, you know, and happy black husbands. Yeah. We need to have more positive reinforcement because people watch YouTube for so many different things. People watch YouTube for relationship advice. Oh, for, yeah. Um, hair advice. Yeah. For, you know, so many different things. So, 
Um, Devin, I just want to thank you so much for allowing me to have this conversation with you. Thank you. Um, thank you. This was definitely so much fun. Yes. Um, do you have anything else you want to say? Because we're going to end this video on a high, high note. Mm. Hashtag black love. I yeah, love black love too. So I'm glad you're doing this. I'm honored that I'm included. You, you know um, what? Because... I have to search high and low for the people you want on your, you know, like to do content with. You can't do content yeah. with everybody. That's true. Right? You can't share your space with everybody. And so, I know you and I knew you before you were a wife, even before, you know, whatever. So, I already know how you frame the fit. Like, the way you are on social, and I said this to the Moors yesterday, the way you are on social media is the way you are in real life. And that's just where I'm at. That uh, uh, realness and transparency it's definitely where I'm. That's, that's my. That's what's in my season right now. Yeah, I love that. You know. Thank you for saying that. No problem. So y'all, comment down below if you believe there's no such thing as ready. That is on my sticky note. That will be the name of this video as long as the YouTube algorithm allow me to be great. Y'all, this is Mom Chronicles 2.0, and y'all be sweet.